Now, the first work I'm going to talk about for you utilizes Eastern Asian aspects. This work is called Blossom. It's a work for a medium-sized orchestra. It's actually from a larger suite called Floridian Senses. Now, in this work, I use a several sort of aspects to reflect Asian music. One, I have a tremendous stillness going on here in the strings, as you can see on the bottom. I have this chord that's supposed to sound a little bit like a Japanese show, just holding a long chord in the mouth organ. I also use certain aspects such as an instrumentation of lots of chimes and gongs to give a very sedate feeling, to give her a feeling of breath rhythm, and of course the tempo is very slow. And then I use very low piccolo and high English horn to make them sound like folk instruments. Now in this piece, heterophony is a very important aspect for how I put the two instruments together. And what you'll see in this excerpt that I'll play you is first the melody we playing heterophonically. This is actually outlining a folk tune that will reveal itself later. Then it will be interspersed later by some chords and some entry of the brass instruments playing small little fragments of this melody. This relates to my economic sort of aspect and melodic unity. And then it will burst into a section that's far less chromatic, that's fully formed, what looks like several points of counterpoint, but in fact is indeed hetero heterophonic texture realized in all the strings. We're going to start right here around letter A. trombone and piano. 
And this mu music was written actually for two brass players who like to play both jazz and classical music. So in this piece you'll see the elements and the rhythms found in European classical music, but they emphasize jazz sounds and jazz harmony type of qualities. And then the whole texture is actually heterophonic. So my Asian influence comes into play here. This whole entire movement is all heterophony. It starts in clong farben melody and slowly sounds like this improvised heterophony that spreads. Confluences. <laughs> sciences and hip-hop music, but I won't bore you with the explanation of that now. Now, this work encompasses all these techniques I've been talking about. It's for flute and percussion ensemble, a little bit like a flute concerto. And in this work, I use glockenspiel, cretales, xylophone, chimes, vibraphone, marimba, and a whole slew of tune gongs, some of which are muted and some of which are suspended, and then a chromatic set of on block. Now, if I had students here, I'd say, what does that kind of sound like it might, you know, Tamberly reference? they say, ah, a gamelan ensemble. Exactly. In fact, when I wrote this piece, we were trying to find all the instruments out, and none of them were quite in tune with each other, and I said, I'm going to use that as a timbral reference in the music. Now, in this work, there's actually an ostinato that goes through a lot of it, referencing gamelan music. Now, this is no ostinato you'd ever find in gamelan music. One might look at it and say, aha, I see an aggregate there. I see 12 notes. Well, you might say, is it 12-tone music? Well, I would say to someone, says, well, let me have you figure it out. And so they look along, see this ostinato going along, some of which repeats over and over again on purpose. And the flute will come in with this melody up here. And they'll look at the melody, and they'll indeed see aggregates and say, aha, Let's see what row form that is. Well, guess what? You'd never figure it out. Because the notes are coming from the ostinato. In fact, this is all a monophonic line. Where did I get this idea? Gamelon music, called stratified texture. The faster moving lines provide the notes for the slower moving lines. Now they're a bit more syncopated than gamelon music. However, this does indeed turn out to be a 12-tone work. And in fact, for me, I use a lot of 12-tone techniques that are pretty advanced. Some of them are uh, multiplication of the row. I use invariant techniques to connect rows, so I don't always have segments of 12 using the shared notes. I also do other techniques like combinatoriality to create new lines, etc. But most point, I like to have it so it's not that obvious that it's 12-tone music. Or in this case, it's so obvious that it's 12-tone music, I try to trick someone into thinking that it's not 12-tone music. Now, another thing I'd like to tell you about this piece, I mentioned before that there's a line that repeats over and over again. And this has something to do with my appreciation of the banal. That is, you have to hit someone over the head with something sometimes. And in order to create the proper musical excitement and drama, it makes you hold on and wait until you have a melodic line burst out. And that's what this moment is.
Therefore, as you can see, I'm a composer who takes being American, having European training, and having an interest in Asian culture very, very seriously, and having it influence me as a composer, making it all part of me. I believe this is a great expression for the future, as in our world that we get closer together and share ideas and become a better place. Thank you very much.